I think she's angry. guys and gals this is uh, P. Muticus King Baboon uh, I was going to feed her uh, but as you can see around her um, she's got lots of mold not she has but her enclosure zoom in a little bit here for you uh, this is really odd because I just rehoused this tarantula about a, two months ago maybe not even that so maybe the ventilation wasn't good enough um, so I'm gonna rehouse her I have set up another enclosure for her and the funny thing is uh, she was in a, a small critter keeper before or a smaller and uh, she burrowed the whole time uh, she dug down and she stayed down and she's been in here for probably like I said maybe a month or two um, I did a handling video not too long uh, not too long ago on her um, so whenever that video was that's when I set her up in this enclosure because it was uh, bigger she needed a larger enclosure enclosure so I do have a burrow um, over here, but uh, she's never she's never used it. So, anyways, guys, um, we got the Paja for a minute. Yeah, it's really weird. Paja a minute, and uh, I'll get what I need to get her out of here. Just, it's just more so this, or not this side, the, uh, the left side of the enclosure. Um, and there's a lot of humidity up behind that palm leaf. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure what happened. Maybe I over sprayed it, and there's not, not enough ventilation over there for her. But anyways, guys, let's get her out of here, and we'll get her into her new enclosure. Okay, so this is her new enclosure. Um, I already set it up. Prior to doing this video, I just figured it'd uh, be too long. So uh, I'll just talk about the enclosure a little bit. As you can see, it's done up quite nice for uh, for uh, a fossorial species, meaning uh, the king baboon. But uh, I figured, you know what? Uh, she's been up in this enclosure so if she stays up for a little while that's okay and if she ends up burrowing I got a little uh, starter burrow here for her um, hopefully she goes down and uses it if not uh, she can just enjoy the top for a little while um, it's quite done up like I said uh, what I'm going to do is if she starts digging I'm going to she brings it up I'm just gonna take the earth out because she doesn't have a whole lot of room uh, as far as height up here so anyways what we got we got a uh, hide uh, we have water and decorations and whatnot over here also uh, I'm not sure if you can see them yeah you can see them over here these are just moss balls so I don't know if they're real moss but they're they're decorative I just got them at the dollar store so anyways guys let's get her in Hey guys, so I'm on the other side of the camera now. I probably should have taken these leaves and whatnot out, but we're just going to try and cup her. Down the other way. I don't know if you guys can see her, but. if you guys can't see but you don't really want to move the enclosure there you go she's, she's upset she's hissing uh, king baboons do do that just lid on sorry guys if you didn't see that anyways guys there she is I'm going to pause you guys and then we'll get her in the other enclosure. Alright guys and gals. I should have put some holes in this uh, catch cup. I don't really want to poke at this thing too much from the inside. Anyways, here she is. I'm going to see if she'll go right into the burrow. My bulk barn uh, cup, catch cup. Oh, she's gonna be, yeah, she's mad. You guys can hear that. She 
slowly backing her up. Well, there we go. <laughs> she struck it at the last second. There she is. Good old threat posture. She's just stuck there. I'm going to take you guys down so we can get a closer look. There she is, guys. Just as I drop the uh, level of the tripod, she settled down. So anyways, guys, that's it. Uh, hopefully, um, she uses that burrow. If not, she's got a nice, uh, nice enclosure to roam around in instead of just uh, having plain dirt. And it kind of makes it nicer for the videos as well. Anyways, guys, this is just a short video. Um, I was just going to feed her, and then I seen the mole, and then I figured, oh, I better do something about it. So, anyways, guys, have a great day and a great night wherever you're at. Take care. Bye-bye.